All right, so coming up next, we've got a freestyle from MZ. This is MZ. Now, I remember he dissed Young Spencer. Yeah, this goes out to the boys. So he says, this goes out to the boys, right? So there's this whole thing that, like, his presence on TikTok is 50%. Proving the hitters wrong with his brand new rap career. He's going to be the best rapper, right? Big things are coming. I've just opened my own new studio. Everybody get down, pay me to use the studio. And then the other half is they took my boys away from me. And his, you can't, you, I want to really avoid this. I want to really avoid uh, this man's problems. The only problem with that is most of his, all of his rap songs are about it. All of his rap songs are about it. So I am showcasing this with as little comment as possible okay i hope you all understand i hope you all understand this is like they, they don't make them like this they rarely make them like this okay here we go mz and mz if you ever see this here my heart is in the right place and we're going to be talking about sins later as well yeah this is like the voice obvious came and left you one day old no excuses, I was never told. Just walked in and even said that you weren't mine till at the DNA test, put these in the line. Right, so has anybody lost here? He said they give a D they even give you a DNA test trying to say you weren't mine. I was sitting on stupid hospital bed, these social workers nearly ended up fucking dead when they left. I was sitting on the hospital bed, the social workers almost ended up effing dead. I'm reiterating his lyrics because he is very hard to understand for someone that isn't from Northern Ireland. My baby boy, I might have lost it a bit, but the feeling of I might have lost it a bit. Of love, it got in the way. See, I've never seen a kid that looks so good. Look at Daddy Man now, because he's no stud. You may not know this, but you were born dead. You came out blue and you gave us all the skirt. No, I didn't know what to do, so I held back tears. Could have been only minutes, could have felt like years. When the took you, yeah, my word, the fell apart, made Daddy mad, so I had to start. So I gave him the. <laughs> No, I'm not laughing at this content. I'm laughing at the the way he's chosen to share this info. Here, this guy is MC Dirt E Laundry. Says Rob. Did he say DNA test? Yes, he did. Jeremy Kyle core rap style. Absolutely, that's a perfect way to describe this. No, I didn't know what to do, so I held back tears. Could have been only minutes. Could've... So he said the kid was born dead. He turned blue. He didn't know what to do. Could have been minutes. Felt like years. Felt like years when the took you, yeah, my world fell apart, made daddy mad, so I had to start. So when they took you, my world fell apart. It made daddy mad, so I had to start. Right? Does everybody understand when I had to start? They have that in England too, right? I give him abuse, yeah, and of course it kicked. Hold on. I give him abuse of, and of course it kicked off. This is as his son's being born. Where the fell apart me and daddy mad, so I had to start. So I give him the abuse, yeah, and of course it kicked off, but you're worth an eye, and we haven't fucking lost, no, the fight ain't over, and social go to fuck, daddy's making you proud, and I'm not. Social go to fuck. So apparently he's been told by a judge to stop posting these videos. Give up, yeah, they lied in court about me and your mom, because they're all fucking dicks and they're all fucking scum, no, you can't. They lied about me and your mom in court, he's saying. The system got help, I tried, the social services will never be on my side. So, do you all see why I'm very cagey when it comes to this guy? What does everybody think? What does everybody think? Is this, like... Is this too far? Is this too far showing this? Or is this, you know, okay or what? I mean, I am scared. I am actually scared. I'm too scared to laugh. Casually saying the child came out blue. There's nothing casual about this fella's lyrics. Let's just hear that last bit again. So, <sighs> MZ, if I can try and portray your story accurately here, from what I've heard you say in your videos, just to convey it to the audience here what troubles you go through. Imagine the social worker watching this as talking me. I know. So to paraphrase MZ, um, everybody, apart from him and his girlfriend, said that the kids should be taken off them. Now, we don't know what reason it was, but he has vaguely said that he kicked off, threatened to kill the social worker, something like that. 
that's not funny. But, you know, he always leaves out certain details and things. And from what, from watching every single one of his videos, up until about two weeks ago or a week ago, I had to take a wee break. It sounds like, I don't know if he did actually anything bad or wrong or anything like that. I think his family just know that he's an Egypt that can't look after a kid. It may just be that simple. I'm hoping there is no darkness to this, okay? So I gave them abuse, yeah, and of course it kicked off, but you're worth it now, and we I gave them abuse, and of course it kicked off. You would do the same if they tried to take your child on his birthday. I haven't fucking lost another fight. You would do the same, wouldn't you? Ain't over and social go to fuck that he's making you proud and I'm not give up. Yeah, they lied in court about me and your mom because they're all fucking dicks and they're all fucking scum. No, you can't beat the system. God help, I tried. The social services will never be on my side. And I think if we can go to a live Spencer reaction to this here, this is young Spencer's reaction to what he has just witnessed. Balls. And remember, we only cover Ramsey because he dissed Young Spencer. And I'd like to have it on record that Young Spencer is the realest rapper in Belfast. There you go. That was MZ, okay? On it live Spencer reaction. Okay, Spencer is the realest rapper. Quote to me. Oh, let's see what the challenge said. Eurovision 2024. He's holding on to his hair better than his kids. Ducky me all. How dare you say something like that? I just feel like he should keep this in his diary. Don't she? Every single person has told him that. Every single person in his life has told him that. I mean, even a judge. Even a judge. So what do you think? Do you think we can cover that? I need someone to be the moral compass here. I can't tell. I can't tell. Every fiber of my being is saying... If you keep watching this guy online, it's going to be the funniest thing that's ever happened in our entire lives. And then the other part of me is we cannot add to this man's misery. We cannot add to this man's misery. He doesn't like being trolled. Not that I'm saying we should troll him. I'm just saying let's watch his content together. It's a sticky one. It's too real, says Rare Witch. Like, because he gets trolled like badly, you know what I mean? But um, we don't play nasty here on the show. We try to keep it like nice and funny. Whereas I feel like, you know, MZ attracts a certain, a certain darkness that I'm not prepared. I'm not prepared for here. I got the fright of my life when I logged on to TikTok. But I go look up MZ and I, I search his name and it says, no videos found. This person does not exist. I was like, oh my God, has he blocked me? Because I have no, I've had no interaction with him. I don't even follow him. I don't want to alert him to our presence, right? So I panic and I know he has about five accounts. So I go search them all. I do a Google search. Luckily, a YouTube account comes up, which he doesn't really post to. But at least there was that. And, you know, I texted uh, someone else who loves MZ. And we were panicking. It turns out I wasn't blocked. He deleted all his accounts, all five of his accounts and Facebook too, apparently. The only account that we could find was uh, a fake account that pretends to be him. We were absolutely gutted. And, you know, I was thinking he'll probably be back. He'll probably be back. You know, he is addicted to it. So let's say he uh, posted a couple of videos. These were obtained before he deleted his account, right? And uh, let's just check out what he was up to before he deleted five accounts. So he's got MZ and I, MZ Story, MZ's Podcast, MZ's Car Raps, and Rap Tech Studios and the Facebook page. All deleted, okay? So this is what he was, was posting shortly before he uh, left the TikTok realm. This is not a, I don't wear this because it's an old top. I've had this for about a year. Yeah, it looks new because it's never been worn. So it looks like someone left a comment slagging off his, his Puma. So uh, here he is, he's given off about something. This is, he deleted five of his accounts. This is not a, I don't wear this. But Let's hope he didn't delete them all just because someone didn't like his little Puma. Because it's an old top. I've had this for about a year. Yeah, it looks new because it's never been worn. But it is, it's sad. Same as this. Same as this top here. This is Sports Club. Just looks new because it's never been worn. And it's pathetic. You probably couldn't afford a hoodie. Do you know what I mean? You're sitting there probably eating fucking like Rice Krispies and you can't even afford milk. And you're coming on here slagging me off. So there you go. Um, people are slagging him off on TikTok. Let's see what else he was saying before he deleted five of his accounts. 
Now, do you know what? You sit there, work your fucking nine to five, shut the fuck up and leave me alone. That's you told, right? That's you. Sorry for the bad language there. <laughs> You're going to hear it once more. So earmuffs on the kids. Not much more swearing than that, you know, okay? Very casual. Now, do you know what? You sit there, work your fucking nine to five, shut the fuck up and leave me alone. That's you told, right? That's you told. That's you told, haters. Leave him alone. He can wear a puma if he wants to. My prediction did come true. He was able to come back online uh, only a day later. I believe he was only off for a day. He can't stay away. He is addicted to it. Here's uh, what he told the, his adoring public. He said, phone was broke. Unfortunately, I'm back again. Although it says, phone was broke. So not phone was broke, unfortunately. Phone was broke. Unfortunately, I'm back again. So um, all the comments were like, I didn't realize if your phone broke, it deleted five accounts on the Facebook page. That's not really how it works. That's you stole this such a cute ending, says Sarah. Yeah, that is a cracking video. Thank you to the person that sent me these. And uh, sorry that you got so panicked over this guy deleting his accounts, but he's back. Let's listen to it one more time. Sorry for the bad language. This is a PG stream. Now, do you know what? You sit there, work your fucking nine to five, shut the fuck up and leave me alone. That's you told, right? That's you told. That is you told. So MZ came back. Everyone can sleep soundly at night. Uh, that's him back.